All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Sideboard MTG. My name's Eric, and we've got another Dev's deck for you guys. This one is Lumbering Battlements, or Infinite Battlements. If you like the, the Infinite Combo decks, then you're sure to like this one, so don't forget to give it that thumbs up for the like, and if you like the content in general, subscribe to the channel for more of Dev's decks. Also, if you want to play this deck, or any other deck for that matter, uh, whether it's Standard, Modern, Vintage, Legacy, check out mana traders they're my sponsors and if you sign up using cyborg mtg hybrid it'll save you 15 percent on your first three months when you sign up it's a rental service so you don't have to have a collection you can get into mtgo easily and uh yeah pretty straightforward all right um we've got pretty sweet deck here this is lumbering battlements let's go ahead and read this card really quick so we know kind of what's going on all right um it's a five mana four five with Vigilance, it says, when it enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-token creatures you control until it leaves the battlefield. Lumbering Battlements gets plus two, plus two for each card exiled that way. So, let's say we had a Wall of Lost Thoughts. And maybe a mirror image copying the Wall of Lost Thoughts. So, those would be two non-token creatures. We would... Of course, we would have made them mill eight cards by just playing those. We play our Lumbering Battlements, and then we pick up Wall of Lost Thoughts and Mirror Image, which will now make Lumbering Battlements an 8-9. That's a pretty big beater, and yes, we can win the game just with that big beater, but there's more to it than that. If you happen to get another copy of Lumbering Battlements, you could then play that card, pick up the first lumbering battlements that had the mirror image and the wall of lost thoughts under it pick it up and then at that point your mirror image and your lost thought wall of lost thoughts would hit the battlefield again getting new triggers well you would not want to take mirror image and copy the wall of lost thoughts at this point you would then copy the second lumbering battlements that you played giving you a third lumbering battlements and when it entered you would get another trigger on the stack and you would have it pick up the Wall of Lost Thoughts and the other Lumbering Battlements. As soon as that happened, the first Lumbering Battlements, the first one that you cast, would pop out from under the, uh, <laughs> the second Lumbering Battlements, and then you would be able to repeat the sequence, creating an infinite chain where you would just simply mill your opponent out basically instantly. Um, in paper, it would work a lot easier because you could establish the loop say okay you have zero cards left in your library pass uh, now that's not going to work really really well with uh, cards like nexus of fate in the format because you would never truly be able to um, to mill your opponent out so you need some other ways to win now one of those is avi aviation pioneer if you have an aviation pioneer in that combo um, then you make infinite thopters. Now, that doesn't guarantee that you get to win because you do need to continue to swing. So, we, we, do, have, we do have some other options, but the main win con here is to be able to, to draw through our deck and mill our opponent out. But, again, you can just beat someone down with, a, with an 8-9 or even larger, you know, and a 10-11 wouldn't hurt either. So, um, Lumbering Battlements, that's, that's the combo for today. I'm just kind of hoping we can, we can pull it off just, just, just one time. Just give me one time. That's, that's what we're looking for. So, um, if you guys want to check out the, the True Deck Tech, don't forget to check out my man Dev over at SBMTG. The link is in the information box above. And the deck list itself is in the inf description box below information box description box uh. anyway that's the deck uh, we do have a couple other cards here that I'll show off really quick uh, we've got exclusion mage which means we could infinitely bounce um, we also have some omen speakers which means that we could uh, draw down through our deck or scry down through our deck now uh, we've also also got uh, riverwise auger which is draw three and then put two cards back on top of our library if we are uh, putting this in the loop then that means that we basically get to draw all the way through our deck you would actually want to stop at some point um, to maybe put some other things on the stack and at that point uh, you know you would have to 
be worried about milling yourself out. But I think that you're going to run into your wall of loss thoughts a little bit sooner than that, and you should be all right. So, as far as other cards in the deck, we've got um, Swords to Sky Shares. Is it Dev, really? Swords to Sky Shares? All right, Sky Tether, uh, one mana, enchant uh, creature, and it all of a sudden it loses flying and gains Defender. Yeah, we got some op and shimmer of possibility to help us find the pieces to our combo because we do need multiple copies of Lumbering Battlement. You got to have at least two Lumbering Battlements from what I can tell and then a, maybe a mirror image or something like that. But you do need those Lumbering Battlements. So um, that's that's the main board. Let's, uh, let's look at the sideboard. It's really straightforward. Uh, in the sideboard, we got four copies in the gate, which is, you know, just a, a great card to run. And then we've got four copies of Shieldmare, which means that you can technically gain an arbitrary large number of life. And then uh, we've got Impassionate Order. When another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. So this is another way that you could gain life. And then Baffling in to be able to deal with, with the uh, early creatures. This deals with Tempest Gen, and that's a big deal, so... Uh, not to mention Terramander. Uh, as, uh, as far as the deck itself, uh, as far as creation goes, this was built to be a super budget list. The entire list only cost about five bucks. So um, Dev did go on the, the budget side of things with the lands. He's using Azorius Skill Gates and some Meandering Rivers. If you have the other lands, by all means, go ahead and throw those on, in there. It will help your consistency out a little bit, especially getting those early draw turns off. Um, and things like that. Just just being able to uh, to dig for your combo a little bit quicker could be everything to to help you win the win the fight. So let's jump over and talk to everyone in chat, see what's going on here, and let me get rid of this preview panel so I can see chat. What's up? Thank you, Jizza. Jizza with the five dollar donation. Thank you very much, sir. Were you were you were you excited to see this deck? Is that what's up, Jizza? Huh? Rocker's excited. He Rocker says, I hope this deck works. You know what? For a five dollar deck, my expectations are I just want it to happen one time. Just just one time let this happen. And I'll be satisfied. That's it's a five dollar deck, right? I'm not I'm not pushing for, for leaps and bounds and, and to, to win every game. I just want one time. What's up, Boros? Um you wanted to see this deck work? Yeah, I, I, I also wanted to see this deck work. Uh, it's going to be like having uh, three blue eyes in the, the fusion card. If anyone can pull it off, it's you, Eric. Well, thank you, Skylar. I appreciate that, man. All right. It can do it. At least once, right? Right? Just, just one time. Let's go see if we can make it happen. All right. Spazlub. Spazlub is our opponent. Here we come. Infinite combo. Gonna get you. Guys, let me know if the, the music's too loud. I, we should be able to filter and and things of that nature. So, we'll see. We can get into the white mantle later. I feel that this might be a hand worth keeping. Although, I'd rather see a Lumbering Battlements and a, a copy spell, but, I mean, we can throw down some Aviation Pioneers if we can get to three mana. I think I'll keep. Yes, the Treasures list is going to be coming up after this. Uh, if you guys may notice that I'm a little bit early. That's because we're going to play um, three games with this and try to hit that combo. And then after we get those three games off, I'll uh, take a quick break and we'll jump over to the Smothering Riches deck. Well, would you look at that? I think I can afford to come in a little slow here. He's not pressuring me, and if it is mono blue, he's probably going to be pressuring in the air anyway. Oh, it's not mono blue. No way we're having a mirror match. No way. No way. We'll see. We will see. Right? It. 
No, he's got a glacial fortress. Maybe he had the other lands, though. MTGO did that to your Fire Song deck? What? <clears throat> a ver version of the deck that was nearly the s same time. You think people will see the combo um, coming after the first battlement hits the stack? That's that's highly possible. That is highly possible that they'll see the combo coming. I mean, I guess I can just keep swinging with Thopters here. Let's mill him. We'll see what's going on then. No, he's a famished Paladin deck. Okay. Technically, only need one Aviation Pioneer. So, we'll just play around subtle like that. Warden. Wow. Um... We may just be on a beatdown plan. The paladin. The paladin. I know we should be going for a combo, but I don't have the other pieces or means to draw to it. Erg. You got me, opponent. You got me. So he has to gain life in order to make it untap. But he could have some combo that just requires a ton of mana. I mean, I doubt he's ever going to attack with it anyway. Shimmer, he's digging for it. He's looking for that other combo piece. He needs to find it. Uh-oh. He's doing it. It's got Vigilance and Lifelink. Sorcerer's Wand. Oh no. I should have played the Lumbering Battlements. Hmm. Yeah, I should have played it last time and picked up a bunch of stuff. We would have had some things happening. Uh, I'm going to pick up these guys. <clears throat> we may be getting comboed off right here. Because he's going to equip for three. Currently doesn't have lifelink. Sentinel's mark. That'll do it.
And that's game. All right, so uh, for those of you that haven't seen the Famished Paladin combo, he uh, he gives it Life Link and Sorcerer's Wand. Sorcerer's Wand says he can tap it and it'll do one damage uh, to target creature or player. Now, because it has Life Link, it'll gain life. Famished Paladin says whenever it gains life, uh, whenever you gain life, untap it. So he's basically just going to um, combo me out right here. Yeah, it's an infinite combo uh, versus an infinite combo. Granted, even if I would have played the Lumbering Battlements, I wouldn't have had um, I, I wouldn't have had another copy. So I would have been able to mill him a little bit, and I would have been able to um, uh, even bounce the Famished Paladin, maybe giving myself another turn. But I still wouldn't have been able to um, to actually cast or to to combo off. I'm going to get rid of the Riverwise Augur, and I think I'm going to go with Baffling End over Sky Tether, and I'm going to run it back like that. The four mana Riverwise Augur, uh, Augur um, I, I don't know, I don't, it, it's probably the best card for the scenario, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. It's a good start, double lumbering battlements, but we have to hit some blue mana or we're in trouble. I do have a white spell that I can cast, and if we do get into the blue, we should be all right. So I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to keep this hand, and just because I I have two of the three combo pieces I need, plus a finisher. Yeah. Um, yeah, baffling in to buy time, and I brought in the negates as well, um, because if I can negate the uh, enchantment, or I can if I can negate the artifact itself, then uh, you've stopped the the entire combo. Stopping the artifact will will stop the entire combo. We do we do want to start seeing blue mana around about now. Yeah, now would be nice. Yeah, blue land off the top would be be really nice. Our opponent actually discarded a land. Woo. All the white manas, huh? Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay. The opponent's digging charter course. There's the sorcerer swan. Hey, there you are, blue mana. I guess I put down a body. And then if he plays the... Is the Paladin a four mana card? No, it's two. He's got double Paladins. So we'll eat one of them, bounce the other. That'll keep him off of um, that'll keep him off of being you know summon sick. And then next turn I can play lumbering battlements, pick up aviation pioneer and exclusion mage. Another wand. Might be able to go about this the hard way if we can get three turns to do it. Um, I think it flew in. Treasure map. We're going to do this the hard way? I don't know. Maybe I should have swung first.
Well, we bounce one of them. Go ahead and opt. Uh, I'm going to bottom that. We're there. We just... We're so close. We're so close, but he's also one card away. Should have bounced the other one. Why? I mean, why, like, why did it matter? Either one of them could have blocked, though. I mean, he wasn't attacking with it. Okay. Let's just do it the hard way, I guess. The opponent asks, uh, loop. Move this down. I need to pick up that, that, that. Now we pick up that. We have them enter the battlefield again. What a Convoluted combo. I think this time I'm actually going to stack the Lumbering Battlements first. This way I can let some of these other things resolve. Otherwise I create this huge stack. I, I told the opponent, uh, he asked Loop, um... I said yes, but not instant dead, though. He said, Thopter Army is good enough for me. So, <laughs> that, that'll that work. Um, we did it. We, it. It happened. We got our, instant, our infinite loop. We did it the hard way with three lumbering battlements. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Let's go into game three and see if we can uh, beat our opponent out here. Uh, he's playing the... Paladin infinite combo, the Paladin one. It kind of works. It does kind of work. Uh, I did learn that you need to actually stack the Lumbering Battlements trigger first, otherwise you end up with this huge, huge stack that you'll never be able to, uh, to remember how many times it's on the stack if you were ever doing this in paper. So, um, I've got a piece of the combo, I've got some lands, I've got a negate, which will be really nice, and a baffling in. I think I'm going to hang on to it. Already, already hit our goal for the deck. That's that's it's pretty nice. I'm I'm excited to say, yeah, we got it. We did combo off against a uh, another pretty sweet little combo deck. I might add. Right, the rest is gravy. Wish I could spell pierce that. I'll take the mirror image. He's digging, but is it for land? Oh, he's digging for land. Oh, not like this opponent.
Yeah, that's brutal. Our opponent, he seems like he's being a little stuck on the mana situation. Doesn't mean I'm going to allow that thing to resolve, but either way, our opponent's a little stuck on the mana situation. I need to find one of our threats. The Pioneer will work. That that's That'll work. Ooh, another treasure map. All right. So, Pioneer. Right, combo. Com we have the combo in hand. We just need to actually start firing it off. He is digging for a paladin, or maybe another wand. I don't know. If he plays paladin, I exile the paladin. Alright, everything is in place. Next turn we start picking up creatures. We have to pick up the mirror image. Picking up the mirror image basically works as if we have cast our first Lumbering Battlements. I think it's probably easier in this deck to to um, cast the mirror image first. I think Dev said something about that in his video as well, that... Um, you know, one of the easiest ways to get the deck to go off was was that what opponent? That's not nice. Might have to work on the beatdown program here. Another Sorcerer's Wand. Oh, he's, he's going for this. Alright, we picked up some dudes. We're actually lethal next turn. So, he actually actually stopped some blockers at this point. Because we are lethal. Um, yeah, yeah. And we can remove a blocker. As long as it's a small one. Eedy beedy. Um, Rampage of the Clans is, uh, is one of my favorite little trick combo cards. Um, I built the Psy Rampage of the Clans deck back during the, uh, sponsored event. The Wizard sponsored event that we, we did at the beginning of the season. It, it was, it was good. Alright, so now he has to stop my baffling in. That's got summoning sickness. I don't think this is going to work the way you want it to.
Okay, so we had the combo assembled yet again. We had a mirror image picked up lumbering battlements. <gasps> no. Well, that's just mean opponent. How about a warrant to put me back on top of my own, on the owner's library? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Clone? Clone's a good card. Like, there's been many clones. This is just the current rendition of clone. Most of the time, clone doesn't say you control. It just lets you copy anything. But in this particular case... Clone does. Now we do have some other options. If he, pa if he plays the um, Paladin again, I can just. I'm, I'm probably just going to baffling in it unless we see two Paladins. If we see two Paladins, I may be forced to mirror image. What are you picking up? What is you picking up, opponent? I think he's going to pick up Exclusion Mage. He's going to pick up Exclusion Mage. <clears throat> he is tapped out. So we'll get rid of the Paladin. Swing. Put him in one. Time to baffle the pally. Right? That pally's looking around like, what? What happened? I just disappeared. All right. Would it be Godless Shrines? I don't know. Would it? He asked me to finish it off with style, and I said, I got no combo. There we go. I'll finish off with this style. I'll send four, four dudes your way, man. Can't afford, can't afford to try to finish off with style. Ah. Good game opponent. That's right. Good game opponent. Whew. I've got to turn this heater off. One moment, guys. It was a pretty cool deck. I, I, uh, I've tried the Famish Paladin deck a few times in the past. Uh, Magic Hefe put a version of it together. I played another version of it a while back. We've seen a copy of it with... Um, uh, I can't think of it. I'll keep this hand. I've uh, seen a copy of it with Saffron's Olives um, like against the odds or something like that. I, um, I think he actually ended up 
um, play playing the deck on stream or something like that. He may have, or at least put a, a deck tech out about a famished paladin deck. Currently, uh, my favorite combo, or yeah, my favorite combo is uh, turning Chamber Sentry into. Who? What do we do? Turning turning Chamber Sentry into a zombie with uh, the four mana Liliana. And then, or and then recasting it with the four mana Lily on it. I guess I'll go for the Pioneer. Pioneer has been quenched. Quench. Anyway, so you take um, adaptive adaptation or something like that. And you call zombies. So now all creature cards that you own are zombies. Whether in the graveyard, your hand, on the battlefield, doesn't matter. They're zombies. And then you get to... Um, hey, we actually get to play something this turn. I think I need to put down... That's going to hurt. Uh, I'll put down river wise anyway so now that your chamber sentry is a zombie you play it for zero mana and it goes to the graveyard right and then you have Liliana you play her instantly ultimate her her ultimate says that you can cast zombie cards from the graveyard well chamber sentry is a X cost creature and he's a zombie in your graveyard so now you can cast him from your graveyard for zero mana an arbitrarily large number of times we can put these back and we can put these back doesn't really matter so we can't really change much anyway so um, if you have something like uh, whenever you cast a historic spell draw a card well, you just start casting him, and you draw a card, draw a card, draw a card. Uh, if you, I, I hate giving him a quench right here. Um, but then, if you have something like um, Ju um, Judith on the battlefield, you ping for one. There's a, a card that says whenever you cast a historic spell, your opponent like mills two or three, so you can just cast this this dude from the graveyard over and over and either mill them out ping them out draw your deck out whatever it is you want to do so that that's that's one of my favorite combos right now it's in Grix's colors too so that helps yep that's a Teferi to pair up with that Karn and he's got a quench I was going to copy that. Can you start the combo with a battlement on the field? Because no, then the battlement just dies, right? Alright. Miserable old Esper. How I will not miss you in eight months. <laughs> you really think Esper's gone? It'll just take a break. As soon as the cards come back, I mean, th there'll be another Esper control deck. There's, there's like always a an Azorius or Blue Black and Esper deck. And if Esper's not good, that usually means Jeskai is good. So, there's, a, there's always a control deck floating around. Can I scoop? Please. Come on, guys. Be nice. Let me scoop. I mean, I guess I can mirror image, mirror image. Do I want to do both? I don't think I want to do both. I mean, he's got a quench. I got to be careful. So I guess I can't do both. Oh. <sighs> 
Watch him kill the exclusion mage with a mirror image on the stack. That's what I would have done. If I could have done it, I would have done it. Maybe we can go after Dovin. There's actually a fair chance that I might be able to hit the Dovin, so I'm going to try to hit the Dovin. Boom! Dovin down! I feel so accomplished. It loses to Fairy. Won't it have whatever ridiculously powerful planeswalkers come out of this next set, War of the Spark. Like it Okay, we lost Jace the Mind Sculptor at one point, but the fairy's here and now we're back to playing like it I'm agreed. Agreed. It's going to take a break. But there are always gonna be red decks. There's always gonna be control decks. And there's always gonna be really powerful mid range decks. That's just how magic plays. Let me have hope. Don't crush my hope, damn it. I got you, man. Yeah, um, if we can go, you know, two or three sets without an extremely powerful card like Teferi floating around, then, yeah. Oh, looky. Yeah, this gets quenched. Just quench. I'm conceding, guys. I, I, I concede on this. Yeah, Teferi's at seven. We're I'm. I will I will be conceding here. Okay. So I 100% want negate. Um, I don't think I need Baffling in Shieldmares. Eh. I mean, it's just a 2 3 for 3 mana. Impatient Order, just another. It's a 2 2 for 2, which isn't the worst thing in the world. So. I don't know. Alright, so I know I want the Negate. Let's see what we don't want. I think Exclusion Mage is the one we don't want. So we just trade Exclusion Mage out for Negate. I don't really need. Sky Tether? So if I don't need Sky Tether, do I just want more threats? And if I'm bringing in a card just to be a threat, I mean, I could bounce Karn tokens. Hey. I kind of I want the Shield Mare, but just because Shield Mare doesn't die to... Um, moment of craving. I'll go with the shield mare. What? Nightbot? You got new things to say? Gee. We can shimmer, and we can speaker. I mean, we got some dig capability here. We can definitely do some digging. I think our best bet is to put some type of uh, creature onto the battlefield so that we can at least pressure our opponent. I can't draw this next turn. I have to put it on the bottom.
All right, best grab them shovels. Yeah, I do need white sources. But for, like, I, I don't need white sources till, like, turn five. I'm not, not really interested in them right now, so. I bet he takes negate. Negate seems like it'd be the most dangerous thing in our hand right now. I mean, what we're going to do, have another omen speaker? We might take omen speaker. He took Omen Speaker, just so I can't throw another threat down. Hmm. Didn't want me to get that scry action going. Joke's on him. We hit our land anyway. Alright, we got our white source, so now we can cast the Lumbering Battle. You would have taken the shimmer. Gotcha. I bet this is negate. He can't let me keep the negate. Because at some point he has to try to clean this up. And when he tries to clean the battlefield up, yeah, then I can just negate. I mean, we we can hope and pray and go for it. All those things. We could just keep smacking him for three a turn. He's got all the thought erasers. All the thought erasers. All of them. Every one of them. <laughs> Don't do it again. Don't do it again. It'd be mean. You're playing Esper. You're supposed to be a nice person. So we pick up Pioneer and Omen Speaker. We have an 8 9. Top 10 best jokes in anime? Oh goodness. Uh, no, that's, that's Duress. Duress can't get a creature, Divest can't get. A non-creature. I think it just gets creatures and planeswalkers. Hey, that board wipe did work. I mean, he took down our lumbering battlement. Bottom... Bottom. Haha. <laughs> Esper players are supposed to be nice. Gotcha. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. I got a card in my hand, opponent. You don't know. I could have a negate. Don't play that, Teferi. Thief of Sandy. Okay. Riverwise or another Shimmer. 
I think Shimmer is going to give me just what we're looking for. I had to play the land there because I needed... We've got no lumbering battlements to copy. I guess I'll take the mirror image. Doom Whisperer. He quietly speaks messages of doom. I think I gotta copy the Omen Speaker. Just to get some more scry action. I mean, if he can't counter our next couple spells, we technically are doing it. Ah. <sighs> Electrostatic Pummeler did sneak in some 5-0s towards the end of the leagues. No! You cannot hit me with that thief! I will not allow it. That was scary. He would have got rid of all my good things. <laughs> Opponent plays Doom Whisper. Eric plays Aviation Pioneer. Check. Right? feels so bad. I mean, it does, doesn't it? Doom Whisper. Yet again. Again with this Doom Whisper. Alright, alright. I cannot swing in the Doom Whisper. So we make bigger dude and try to swing next time. At least we got a lethal creature here. He has to have a way to deal with his lumbering battlements or he can't even swing at all. That'll do it. No swings from the opponent. We're so lucky. Yes, yes. The 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 most horrible Russian accent in the world, right? It's because of Boros. When I see Boros boons, I, that's that like that's what comes to my mind is is the Russian accent. I am Boros. I shall give you many boons. I'm sorry. I don't even... It, yeah, whatever. We're moving on. Busy getting beat down by a Doom Whisper. It, it's it's because of Rocky and Bowwinkle. Alright? That, that's... That's whose fault this is. Think that'll be your your new mantra? I am Boros. 
I shall give you many boons. What boon has the great Boros brought for us today? <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Boros. Uh, can I scoop now? I mean, we got another deck to play after this. I don't think we could piece together a combo right here. I was testing this deck earlier against Mono Blue. No. No. Mono Blue plays like two creatures in the early game. And then they fly over your head for the rest of the game countering anything that's relevant scoop is probably best <laughs> he absorbed my shield mayor for crying out loud yeah I'm, I'm, I'm done on that one you got me dude you got me <sighs> so brutal it's just so brutal You're gonna be a Ru <laughs> you're gonna be a, a Russian Birdman fighter class in your in your next campaign. That sounds great, Birdman, Bird Birdman or Bird person. Not that I know the difference, but just asking. Uh, sure, we'll play the op. Allow us to just kind of churn through our deck a little quicker if possible. I mean, I, I need to play this Meandering River at some point, but I don't technically have to play it on turn one. I could opt on turn one. Yeah. Not a Kenku. There's another Guild Gate. I'll put that on the bottom. See? Still got white. Mardu. Let's see what's there. <sighs> I now you're, you're saying sea salt ice cream. I'm thinking of caramel and sea salt, and it does sound pretty good. Arg! I think I can put the land on the bottom. We'll put that on top because we do need one of our our win cons. So I can turn three play. Mirror image, turn four, play Meandering River, Opt, and Wall. I mean, right now the Omen Speaker is going to do a, a decent job at holding things back, but that's only for so long, right? And then things like Venerated Loxodons come around, and... Hmm... Yeah, we do some more digging here. We just stick to the plan. We need to keep the mirror image alive, and we need to keep the wall of lost thoughts alive. I think we can sacrifice the Omen Speaker if we need to. But we're also at 18 lives, so I mean, I can wait. Skyborn, or Duskborn, Sky Marcher. So this is Mardu Vampires. Okay. He's got flying. He's getting in there. 
I think I'm just going to take the hit. Okay, so river, wall, and then we'll just grab the land off the top of our library. Like we know we need it because we have to cast the lumbering battlement. So, um, we need to survive for two turns, and we need to keep the the mirror and the wall alive. So we can sacrifice Omen Speaker here, and if we can survive a couple turns, we should be all right. I am gonna sacrifice the Omen Speaker. Stop four points of damage because we still got four more coming over. Now we just have to not die and we win? That's going to be difficult. Okay, so it didn't happen. Judith, 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 Judith. Why, Judith? Why? <sighs> Alright, so I'm bringing in Shieldmare. For the Riverwise Otter. Baffling End's probably going to be pretty decent as well. And I'll run that over Omen Speaker. And a Sky Tether. I mean, I want removal, but I don't want, like, ridiculous amounts of removal. So. Buddy, your ears worked out in a way that... Like the Tiger Alien from Ben 10. Seems like a good good character to play. We did get some new... We've got Carney T. We've got... I forget what the others are. Made a few. All right. <clears throat> I guess we keep and we dig for land. I wonder if Terramander. Maybe I, maybe I did Terramander wrong. I did. I didn't put another A in there. For Terramander. Let's try that. Sky Marcher. Where's the Lumbering Battlement? Technically need to just dig for land here. No. Dusk Legion Zealot. Wow, what other ones did we make for a Nightbot? I know there's some other card that we made. Or some other card that's getting a lot of play that was 
worth making. Uh, I think the baffling end looks really good. Island looks really good too. Although I could go shield mare, shield mare for the next couple turns and just wait it out. But I can do that anyway. So I'm just going to take the island. Because I can still cast shield mare this turn and copy it next turn. Or not this turn, but the next one. Oh, yeah, there you go. If you like the song, you can exclamation point song and it'll it'll throw it up there. Oh my gosh, Madness. Watch your mouth. Remove that Madness. We gained a bunch of life off of that. Six points of life. Not that one. Retract the next one. The one that's actually got the curse word in it. Gee. Moderators. I think I think I gotta make tokens here just to throw up some blockers <laughs> wait wrong one so how bad does he want to flip this does he just swing with everything So do I double block Judith? I mean, sure. What's sad is I can't I can't remove my moderator's messages without removing the moderator. So I guess if I have to click to remove a moderator too many times <laughs> I guess that that'll just be the the point where we remove moderator's madness. Yeah, we we definitely had to kill the Judith there. Not a lot of choices on the matter. We also need to get to the point where we're infinite pretty soon. Oh, goodness. Well, you got another Judith?
Just gonna scoop it up. Just gonna scoop it up. Oh my goodness, my mustache is tickling my nose so bad. You guys ever have that problem? Alright, I'm gonna play one more. And then we'll take a quick little break. And, um... Uh, and then we'll we'll swap over and we'll play the Smothering Riches deck. Rebel and Riches with Smothering Tithe. It seems like that should be fun. I will mulligan this hand. I don't have a playable in the hand. Oh my goodness, I still don't have a playable. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Way more interested in that. Eh, cool. I I figure that's pretty much the the way it goes most of the time when I play multiple devs decks. There's some, some people that want to see one and some people that want to see the other. I'm just happy that we did get the combo off at one point. Um, so right, it's red deck wins. It'll be over quickly. At least they don't drag your pain out. I like that red-black deck that's floating around. It takes so long for them to kill you with it. I mean, they'll eventually kill you. But it takes so long. I was watching Gabby Sparks and Day9 play the, um, the Toy Fair. Um, and... They were just... They were just having fun playing some, some decks that they had built on Arena. And as cool as it was, it was still, it was just, like, even they were, were like, oh, are you playing a good deck? Oh, okay, if you're not playing a good deck, then I'll play this other thing that I've got. Oh, you're playing a good deck? No, okay, you're still playing that deck? All right, fine. But they kept saying it to each other, like, are you playing a good deck? And I guess that's the the, the polite way of saying, oh, are you, are you bringing out tier one? Because if you're bringing out tier one, then, you know, I'm going to have to... Might have to do something here. But it, it was fun watching them play. Ha ha ha. Got him. You found that you really enjoy the guild kits as a battle box. Oh, okay. Your son and you uh, roll a dice and choose a deck. Then you play. See, that sounds that sounds great. That sounds absolutely wonderful. I I want to I want to build multiple decks to have laying around the house for for me and my son when we start playing. Um, I just. I think that that would be great. I want the the decks to progressively, I guess, go up in in scale over time. I'll play the Riverwise Auger because I really need to dig down to a creature. I mean, a, a land. I don't know why I said a creature, but a land. All right. So we can put. These two back. Play the land. I mean, we can make a big Thopter army. Because he's red green, I really want to pick up as many of these things as I possibly can. But we still need another copy or mirror image.
give up. I hate to do this. We're gonna do it. It's gonna get done. Titanic growth. Of course you had a titanic growth. Of course. Of course you had a titanic growth. You. So anyone excited for the new Modern Horizons? Um, yeah, if you're a modern player, you should definitely be excited about the Modern Horizons. Uh, Jareth Miles was just talking to me about that before the stream started. And um, so I looked up the videos and everything, was checking it out. Oh, look, Charging Monster Sword. Yeah, that that's the thing. Um, anyway, um, yeah, Modern Horizons looks like it's going to be pretty cool. I, I like the new Sarah Planeswalker. Um, instead of Sarah Angel, it's Sarah Planeswalker. It ticks up. It, it comes down four mana, and you get four power. Um, the plus two gives creatures you control plus one, plus one, and flying. Um, and the ultimate's at six. So the next turn, you can instantly ultimate, and the ultimate says, as long as you have a creature, you can't die via combat damage. Like So damage, it would reduce you to one, redu reduces you, or would reduce you below one, reduces you to one instead. So pretty sweet uh i'm gonna bring in the shield mares and the baffling ends again i'm um, gonna take out omen speakers and riverwise and then one sky tether i guess so yeah um right five reprints and the reprints are not like they're not modern reprints they said that in the video that that the reprints weren't going to be modern reprints that the reprints were going to be um, reprints from before so if it's currently in modern it won't be a reprint right so you're not going to get tree of redemption don't worry um but it could be some other legacy card doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be legacy power cards but that's the idea is that they're going to be um you know some legacy and and some older modern cards i think i take a land and so i can actually start playing stuff next turn <laughs> could take the exclusion mage though just play off three land for a little while. Yeah, I can do that. A little baffling in that. Play tap land. I mean, it seems like good baffling in target, right? And then we can shield Mary to get him to use his targetables. Joke's on us. They reprint a Ancient Tomb. <laughs> that would... Juggernaut, maybe? No, not Juggernaut. What, what is it? I can't think of it. Anyway. Yeah, so the reprints are supposed to come from before modern, so vintage legacy tar uh, cards. Not necessarily powerful ones, just vintage and legacy cards that were never in modern. Think Opt. Opt was one of those cards that everyone wanted in modern, but it was it hadn't been printed since modern had been legal. So cards like that that could just increase effectiveness, that, that would be pretty cool. 
to see some of those cards in uh, in in these boxes. Man, he's gonna go land monster sore. It's gonna be, it's gonna be mean. <laughs> no, just no. Do not reprint that. Says the guy wanting reprint ancient tombs. We're doing it. <laughs> I play Death Shadow. I'm not for sure what I would want. Uh, although Dark Ritual would be baller. How about Edict? Um, Cabal Therapy? Is that not in standard? It's not, I mean, is that not modern? I don't think it's in modern. These are just some possibilities, guys. I'm just saying. I'm going to play Shimmer of Possibility. And, yeah. There's one of them. So we'll just play uh, Shield Mayor. Yay. The Mayor of the Shield. We'll pass. Fork. <laughs> that madness, where have you been? That's 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 what we're talking about here, man. What'd you do? You took a little break, didn't you? Yeah, dark ritual might be a little too good. I think I just pick up all of this. You been off today? Poor sleep. Does Pfft, hey, I'm with you, dude. I'm with you. So if he can kill and burn things... He should have done it. My 12, 12, 13. It's a 12, 13. Surely we can do something with this. What? I'm going to hide that because I have no clue what she's talking about. That's rude. Put her in time out. Shouldn't be so rude. Alright, the question is, is does he does he triple titanic growth here? Does he have the triple titanic growth? He only needs double. Alright, let's see what he's got. No, no double titanic growth? Okay. This is probably a phoenix. Give me another lumbering battlement. Uh, that's all we need, by the way, guys. She's selling me out. If 
she does get she does get a lot more sleep than that. Or she, <laughs> I do get a lot more sleep than she does. She gets up very early to go to work, so. He bane fired me. Did he build the arena deck? How do you get your deck played by me? Um, I do it for patrons. I do it for whoever kills the stream boss right here. And uh, I do it for um, subscri subscriber Sunday winners. So that's the three ways that that you can it I'll play one a month for you if you sponsor the channel um, so if you do that on patreon you'll see the the tiers on patreon for that no you know what I'll resolve it I'll let you have your hit opponent ah oh, boo hoo all right um so yeah yeah if you if you do want your decks played here on the stream um, be around when the stream boss is starting to die and go ahead and put him out of his misery and the um, the winner of that gets a deck played or you can have a song added to the um, deck list or the, the song list um, so you can either like pick a deck that you want to see played like you've seen a deck that you like and you wanted to see that played um, <laughs> or, you, or you can straight up pay I, I haven't accepted the PayPal thing in quite some time I was trying to get away from that um, but yeah if you if you wanted to um, see a deck played then the cheapest way to do it would be sponsor on patreon for ten dollars a month and then you don't like get one deck played and then you don't technically have to keep sponsoring if you don't want to so um, that'd be the that'd be the easiest way to do it um, look at Val trying to sell me out what a businesswoman sure we could use more money go for it um anyway so what do you guys think of infinite battlements huh deck was deck was pretty cool um it, it's it's really hard to get three copies of the same card even if you do have um copy effects like mirror image and things like that so um it's a nice profile pick oh man that isn't that's an older one that is an older one yeah we need one with lincoln in there um what that <laughs> right? She she covers all of her bases, man. She covers all of her bases. Um, <laughs> she got mad when that said something about sleep. Uh, right there you go. Nightbot's got you covered on uh, Raiders spoils. What happens when the stream boss dies? And uh, if you want to join the the Patreon, you can do that. Um, as far as the deck goes, the deck was really sweet. It, it's really hard to. To, you know pull off these combos that require so many cards and you got to have so many things like on the battlefield before you can even make the combo go off so you got to like set up a situation then you got to have the combo pieces and you got to play those so it, it is a very difficult to pull off combo only five bucks though so like if you guys want to like check this deck out um in paper you can put this deck together for five dollars so that's uh that's a pretty big plus um uh, now, are you going to be taking down your? Um, are you going to be taking down your your local F and M with? Are you going to win first place every weekend with this deck? Probably not. But it's a really good deck to just kind of have sitting around, and you're playing with somebody else who doesn't have, you know, stupid powerful cards. But if you got a buddy who's like, hey, I need to test for GP Vegas this weekend, this is not what he's wanting to test against. Okay. All right, like, and, and Dev made that clear too. So, um, but it's definitely one that you could you could do some some playing with. Might actually be better in best of one, um, because in best of one you're not going to like they're not going to have a chance to know what you're you are, and they're not going to know how to stop it. Like there's no game two or game three, so they either have to to know this oddball lumbering battlement 
combo or they're not gonna they're not gonna know so oh uh, you made coffee to make it up oh that's so sweet she she's so sweet good because mine's gotten cold um anyway i'm wrapping this up we're gonna be um taking a short break here and then we're gonna be coming back with um, our next stream which is the smothering riches deck now this deck's not a five dollar deck okay this this deck's like 350 bucks on tcg player not a cheap deck at all four kaya's raft we've got karns in this thing um you know good removal cast down moment of craving thought erasure uh treasure map which works really well with karn uh, mortifies negates induced amnesia I was really, really curious to see this one in here, and I don't really know why this card's here. Um, but the card's here. Why is induced amnesia in this deck? Anyway, um, we can all. We've also the the plan is to use emergency powers, do a bunch of things like that. So that's right. We're going from five dollars to five hundred dollars, and uh, so if you guys wanna wanna check it out, I'm uh, again to take a quick break we'll be back at around 9 45 9 50 ish and um i'll see you guys um i'll see you guys then i had a lot of fun i hope you had fun we'll see you next time here on sideboard mtg <laughs>